Hi, I'm Tyson Boyer with Dill Air Controls, the leader in tire pressure monitoring systems. Today I'm showing you how to inspect a tire pressure monitoring sensor and valve stem. Many of the cars in your bay today have a tire pressure monitoring system. During your initial inspection, you need to be sure you are following the three simple steps in order to identify a potential problem before you start servicing the car. The first step is to start the vehicle and look for a flashing or solid light on the dashboard. If the light flashes, this indicates a system malfunction, which most likely means a sensor battery is dead or the sensor is damaged. If the light comes on solid, one or more tires are underinflated. The light is designed to come on if the tire pressure is 25% or more below the driver door placard value. The second step is to take your TPMS scan tool and scan all four sensors to ensure they activate. By scanning the sensors, you can verify this before performing work on the vehicle. Be aware, in some situations, a vehicle that is driven at low speeds for a very short distance may not have recognized that a sensor is not functioning properly. Some vehicles have a full-size spare with a sensor. If the TPMS light is flashing and you properly read the four sensors in the wheels, you may also need to check to be sure the sensor in the spare is functioning. The third step consists of performing a visual inspection around the valve stem. Is there corrosion built up around the valve, hex nut, valve cap, or valve core? Is the aluminum valve stem bent or is the valve cap a metal one that is not removable with two fingers? Galvanic corrosion may have occurred, seizing the cap to the stem. If this occurs, stop immediately and notify the customer. Most metal valve caps are not TPMS compatible because the material in the cap causes galvanic corrosion when in contact with the aluminum valve stem. After the valve cap is removed, visually inspect the valve core for any noticeable signs of corrosion or salt buildup. If you see a potential problem, stop and notify the customer immediately. Note, if you are removing the tire from the wheel for repair or replacement, it is highly recommended by the Rubber Manufacturers Association to change the service kit when the vehicle is equipped with a tire pressure monitoring stem and sensor. The rubber sealing grommet deteriorates over time, much like the rubber in traditional valve stems and in tires. This is one reason why we replace the service kit components. And that's how to inspect a tire pressure monitoring sensor and valve stem. Dill, the answer for TPMS.